change uh, went with 10w30 pencil just because I've heard some good stuff about them and then uh, 10w30 according to my research seems to be pretty much the go-to for these engines these KAs so I'm gonna go with that let me show you what you'll need so here's all you need you need the oil fillers I went with 10w30 want the little uh, cone filler neck thing so you don't splash oil everywhere I went with the genuine Nissan oil filter. Here's a little part number for you guys. And then, looks like this is a 14 mil socket. That should be all you need. This car has got the 16 gallon little jug for the oil. Um, oil drain plug is right there. And uh, it's on the left side of the engine bay if you're looking at the actual car from the front. Got the little uh, container right there. Hopefully it won't splash too much, but kind of want it a little bit further away until it kind of loses pressure. Also, you want to do it on a colder engine uh, because you don't want to burn yourself. There you go. Got loose. Like I said, you want this little thing a little bit further out just because it's going to come out with some high pressure. That's why you wear gloves, guys. <laughs> Not nearly as much as I expected, <laughs> but it was pretty low on oil, so that might be one of the reasons why. So let that drain. Uh, as you guys can see, it's got a little crush ring underneath the, um, or, in, or on top of the actual bolt. So the oil filter came with one of these, so you want to take this off and put the new one in. All right, so look at each other, the oil filter. It's right next to the fuel filter, of course. It's right there. Um, so let me get that. Should be pretty. Shouldn't be super tight, hopefully. There we go. She's turning. All right, bucket's still down there. Uh, without the fuel or the oil filter, it should be about 3.6, 2.7 quarts of oil. Um, with the filter, should be four exact. It's leaking pretty badly, but uh, of course it's on the side of the engine, so should. But it's, the uh, bucket's still down there, so it should be okay. All right. What you also want to make sure is that rubber little gasket is on there, because you do not want to double that up. Ask me how I know, <laughs> but make sure that gasket's still out there or on the actual filter, and then go from there. All right, and here is the old, uh, the new filter. Let's get this thing opened up for you guys. Ooh. All right. All right, so, see if I can dig my hand in there. Ah, one thing I always like to do is put some residue on this actual rubber piece here some oil residue so that it won't actually stick to the actual block as easy. Let me get some residual oil. And I just like to spread it on here so it's easier to be able to get it back off the next oil change I do. Okay, that should be all you need. Just get that lubed up so it doesn't seize or anything. Cool. Alright, so after a little bit of struggling there, I got it in. A little, little hand tight, doesn't need to be super duper tight, but it should be pretty damn snug. Get some nice fresh oil in there. Close. So let's start it up. Of course, take that out. back on
that. I think I put about 3.9 or so. Just want to check it out. Let it run. Let the oil filter get some oil in there. Check it. Looks like I need a little bit more. So I'm going to do that real quick. Start it up again. 